So let's have a look at the sum sem. Sum is the short form for summary. A sum sem gives a summary of all the sems of one particular kind in one area of the layer. You can see a lot of good examples of sum sems on Pandora because they have implemented it very well. So we have the Compti FAQ, for example, that's where we are. Here is all the content. And on the left side is a sum sem, and this sum sem fills automatically all the news which come, which are written in the main page. So that's a sum summary, that sum sem summarizes the news in the FAQ page. So when you click on the title, you can also see these news. Right. But a sum sem is not just for one space, but it can be used for many spaces. So for example, if you go on internal, you have two sum sems, one for news and one for K items, and it just shows what news, respectively K items, have been uh, created on all the subcomptes here. So it's like an overview page which shows the, uh, the most relevant content. But let's do our own uh, sum sem now on our intranet. So let's take uh, as an example our company page. So I want to have a sum sem here of summaries of all the news in all these uh, places here. So you see on Pandora they have done a nice interface, this is only visible for admin, so an admin interface to put some and, and HTML and so we don't have that yet, but of course we can always do it through a URL, so form, on a form for sum, so title of the sum, latest news of Colayer, listen to which SAMs, news SAMs, so we want that all news SAMs come there, max to be displayed, oh, I think we can take 30 or something, no, okay, and then uh, yeah, we have taken the .c away, so we have to put it back in .c mode, and here we go, now we have here a new SEM, now I create, let's say on my own test, um, test space, I create a new SEM, MHG test, news let's now test this news sum so and submit now while it is submitting, it should be inserted, this SEM should be inserted into the summary here. And voila, here it is, MHG test news, only the title, right? If you click on it, it comes in a pop-up. When you click on the title, the whole page, here would be all the news in, uh, uh, in Colayer. So let's have a look how it works technically. To do that, we first uh, have to look at the SEM, a few things we can already see in the SEM, and then we go in the temple, we can go in the temple. So we do change in the .s view here, so we see the structure, the, the, there is the SUM SEM, so we go in the SUM SEM, so first we see under the C tag, a title, then the listen to news, the limit, so this is the content which we inserted in the form. But here we see something special which we don't have in other SEMs. Listen to the update tree. So what is the update tree? The update tree is a system of date, date stamps which tells which was updated and when it was updated. So, more specifically, when I go on some Comte, I go now on a, oops, I go now on a lowest level, and I create here a news, another MHE test news, and I create this news. 
What happens now is that Colayer stamps this news as two seconds ago created. It also stamps the Compti here as two seconds ago updated. Then it stamps MHG test Compti also as something here in the tree got updated two seconds ago, MHG and company. So it goes up to the page co and stamps also the page co. Now on the page co we have the same because that's a axis, right? So on the page co you will find the same. Listen, update three, child, ah, two new uh, some sams. This is two because I have previously uh, we have created already one. So once the update tree arrives here, it says, okay, it has to do something on latest news zero on every update. So what do we have to do? We have to do the fun sum listen. So the fun sum listen has to be executed on update tree of page code. So what does Sam Listen do? Let's go there in Fun Sam Listen. So we see here the code which is executed here. Kolela, respectively JavaScript code. The listener, that's probably the page, no? The page and then the, the thing which is created. So the created Sam. These are the two parameters which are passed here. So this is just for uh, safety and then it gets out of the sum sem, it gets the listen. So listen to what? It splits it by plus because we can plus separate. So we can say listen to news and k item. So we would write news plus k item, right? These are the kinds. And then we make a loop over these kinds. If the current created SAM, if the CREA SAM, created SAM, we are not finding in the types we just return, so we don't do anything. Otherwise, we go and apply to the SUM fun SUM add. So something has to be added. What has to be added? Well, this we pass as a parameter, the CREA uh, LID. So let's go in this fun sum at. So to add a sum to the sum, what do we have to do? So what happens in sum at? Fun sum at. Param we have seen is the new sum, and the current sum is just the sum sum because we apply this function to the sum. So we say sum dot at the target, so the target to the sum and with what axis or relationship, so with a sum relationship, right? And if we go into the sum latest news, we see that exactly this has happened. This is a sum relationship, sum axis or sum relationship and has the child as news and this news which we just created. So we see the two children here, right? That's created here through this sum.at and these two children they appear also on well on our new sem right so let's go in sol sum and let's see the temple sum because the temple sum explains us how how this will display so we do uh, an S view again, then we see the design. So the view, the view default, so the default view of that SAM is, well, is here. You can go yourself through the whole code. I don't go through the, through the whole code, but basically it's getting out of the S, the current SAM, so the, the, the SUM SAM, it gets the SUM children, all the SUM children, and it writes them out in a loop. That's basically what it does. So let's see what we have to do. We have to do for our, um, uh, for our uh, upgrade, we have to do the, in summary, clear 
remove all okay so when we are at our summary maybe we put for now just the button down here so we can later think about how the um, how the exact uh, the exact user interface should be so we put just buttons on the bottom but only visible for owner and above because uh, other others should not be able to do it so a button clear what is clear doing clear is basically removing all the sum children removing all the sum children and how do you do that basically with this but the other way around sum dot instead of at you just put rem so what you will do is you will go to sum slash child and then you may will make a loop over the children and for each child you write sum rem then the, the child and the, the axis or relationship sum so that's the first thing the second thing is populate refill and that's quite more complicated so how will we do that well if you remove if you remove everything here you should be able to refill it so it should go down here and search for all sams belonging to that uh, sum here so in other words you will take your sum you will first go to this page co and that's your starting point of a recursive function so from there you have to go to all the child children and the door children so to all child and door slash child and for each of these sams you have to test if it is the type which is mentioned under listen and if it is the type you again do this sum dot at target sum and it will populate these children again and then in the view you will see all of them again finally the third thing we have to do are picture summaries so in some cases we do not want that it just displays the um, the titles but we want that it displays the child uh, the, 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 the pictures inside so that's just a matter of changing the design of this sum sam so here should be a button maybe a third button change design and if we click that or for simplicity you can r now just give a link show uh, pictures show as pictures and if you click there it would change design and it would go in here again in every child and it would take out the um, the pictures in some children there might be even multiple pictures so it will go through all the children look for pictures in these children and uh, we don't want to have all the pictures there but we rather want to have a function of um, which you know from Facebook or so show one image and show a next uh, next um, link and w if you click the next link we show a next image and and so on so you can browse through all the images and to make it a little bit more attractive the customer uh, suggested auto change of images so that means that let's say after 10 seconds 20 seconds or so the pictures will automatically change so if you don't do anything if you are just here on this page you will see the pictures changing slowly so again how you do that well changing the design how do you change the design this is the default design so this design comes out of the um, out of the template if you want a different design you have to apply it directly to the to the sum sam and how you do that well with a view tag directly in here and a reference to the design okay good for question i'm available in the next in the next meeting